This is Carlos Zakarian with NetFocus Technologies. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how we can install Windows 11 and Kali Linux in dual mode. To begin, we need to go ahead and uh, download a uh, utility that will allow us to create a bootable USB drive. So in this case, we're going to use Rufus. That is uh, R-U-F-U-S dot I-E. Once you're on this page, scroll midway and download Rufus 4.5. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and navigate to the downloads page for Windows 11. In this installation, I'm going to be using the multi-edition version. We're going to click on download now, and that brings us to this page here. We're going to click on download, and it's going to begin downloading the ISO for Windows 11. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and download Kali Linux ISO. So once you're on this page, you're going to go to download link here. You're going to see two options here. I'm using the uh, direct access to hardware installer images. So click on here. Scroll down. I'm using the 64-bit version. And to download that, we'll just click on the download link here. Once these are completed, we'll go ahead and head over and make the USB drive. All right, once you're done downloading the ISO files for Kali Linux, and Windows 11, we'll go ahead and open up Rufus, okay? Once we open it up, we'll be presented with this dialog box. Here, I'm selecting my first USB drive, which is 128 gig. I'll be using this drive for Kali Linux, and then the USB drive that is drive letter E will be used for Windows. So to start off, I will select the first drive, then we're going to go ahead and navigate and select Kali Linux. Click open. And here is where the gotcha is. You want to select GPT. The reason is, is because we're going to be using a UEFI BIOS enabled laptop. So go ahead and select that and then go ahead and start. It's going to be presenting you with this dialog box. You're going to say write an ISO image mode as recommended. Click OK. It's going to give you a warning that everything on the drive is going to be deleted. So click OK. And it's going to go ahead and format the drive and begin copying the ISO file, so on and so forth. Once that's done, you'll see a dialog box that shows it's completed. Now that the Kali Linux has been burned to our thumb drive, we're going to go ahead and create the Windows 11 thumb drive next. So I'm going to select the USB drive E. I'm going to go ahead and locate the Windows 11 ISO. I'm going to open that. I'm going to make sure that the partition scheme is selected as GPT. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on start. We'll be presented with the customized Windows installation dialog box. I usually go with the defaults here, so we'll click OK. We'll be warned that the drive E will be erased. I'll click on OK. And now it's going to go ahead and burn the uh, image onto the drive. All right, now that we've created the USB drives, we need to reboot the machine into BIOS mode. Now, on some machines, you've got to press the F12 key to get into BIOS. On others, it's F8. Sometimes it's F1. Um, check your manufacturer's uh, information on how to get into BIOS. But once you're on the screen, you'll select the BIOS setup. And then here, what you want to do is go into the boot area. You want to make sure that UEFI is selected. Make sure you apply that. And then the next part is go into the secure boot. And you want to make sure that this is unchecked. And then lastly, because Windows 11 uses TPM, we want to make sure that that's enabled. And it's usually under security, TPM, and that's checked off here, TPM on. Apply all that, exit, and we'll go on to the next section. All right, now that we've set up everything we needed to in BIOS, we're going to go ahead and reboot again and select our first USB drive. In this case, I'm going to install Windows 11 first. So mine is set up 
on a J Micron Tech uh, USB drive. So I'll select that, select enter on that, and it should start booting off of that USB. All right, we'll see the Dell logo next. So the first dialog box we'll see is the Windows setup. Um, we're gonna click the next button here. I'm gonna click on install now. This is where you would be entering the serial number for your Windows uh, 11 edition. I'm gonna be using Windows 11 Pro, click next. We'll sign off on the license, click next. I'm gonna use the custom install. On this dialog box, I'll partition a drive so we leave about 1.5 terabytes for Windows and about 500 gigs for Kali Linux. It's a new installation on a two terabyte physical SSD drive. So we'll go in here, we'll select the drive and I'm gonna just put in 1.5 terabytes leaves us about 500 gigs for our Kali Linux. We'll apply that. We'll click OK on this message. It'll partition the drives. We'll select our partition for Windows. Click Next. And it'll begin copying Windows files to our drives, installing everything that we need, and then we'll reboot and go into Windows. Now that we have Windows 11 installed, we'll have to go in and create a partition for Kelly Linux. So we'll go here in the search box and we'll type out disk management. We'll click on create and format hard disk partitions. Once we're here, you'll see that the physical drive is disk zero. Our C drive is here. We have our space for our Kali Linux that we originally created because this is a fresh install. But if you're starting off with a Windows 11 that's already installed on your computer, you can go to your C drive here, right click over it, shrink the volume, and now you're able to select the amount of space you want for Kali Linux. As an example, if you want 256 gigs of hard disk space, you would just type in 256,000 in here Click shrink. It'll go through the process of creating a partition with 256 gigs worth of space. We'll use this space for Kali Linux. Now we're ready to install Kali Linux on the partition. I've rebooted the laptop, press F12 to get into the boot menu. I'm going to go ahead and select the USB drive that we created for Kali Linux. We come up to the screen where it shows us the options for installing Kali Linux. We're going to use the graphic install option here. Highlight it and select enter. On this dialog box, we'll select our language. In our case, it'll be English. We'll click continue. The next part will be the location. For us, it's United States. Click continue. Here we'll select the American English for our keyboard. Click continue. On this dialog box, we'll select the Ethernet connection and click Continue. On this dialog box, we're going to give our machine a host name. In our case, it's Kali Laptop, and we'll click Continue. We'll skip the domain name, click Continue. On this dialog box, we'll go ahead and create our first user. In my case, I'll use my full name. I'll click in the field, type out my full name, click Continue. The username will be created here. In my case, it'll be Carlo. We'll click Continue. We'll put in a password for my account and click Continue again. On this dialog box, we'll select the partition where we want Kali Linux installed. In my case, we're gonna select Manual, click Continue. Now we'll select the partition where we want Kali Linux installed. In our case, this is our physical drive this is the free space and partition where we want Kali Linux installed. So we'll select it and click continue. Now we'll select the option automatically partition the free space, click continue. 
For our demonstrations, we're going to select the first option, all files in one partition. Click continue. Now we will select finish partition and write changes to disk. Click continue. On this dialog box, we'll have to confirm the changes that we want to make to the disk. We'll select yes and click continue. For our demonstrations, we're going to go with the default for the desktop environments. So we'll click continue here. Now that the installation is complete, we'll remove our USB key and reboot our computer. All right, so once we power on our machine, we'll be presented with this boot up menu. We have the option of booting into Kali or Windows. For our demonstration, we'll try to boot into Kali first. We'll select it, hit enter. We will see the uh, prompt to put in our username and password and then we'll click on login. And there we have it, Kali Linux is installed. Now to get into Windows, all we need to do is just reboot from here. We will again see the boot menu. We'll select Windows Boot Manager, hit enter. And there it is, Windows 11. All right, I appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you next time. Take care.